Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we'll tell you that how we can find out the sum of last n nodes in linked list, right? So basically, let's say we have given this linked list where we have six nodes. So basically our aim is to find the uh, last n nodes. So basically let's say if la n is 2, so it means I want to find out the sum of these two nodes because these are last two nodes, right? So let's say if my n is 1, it means I want to find out sum of this one node. And let's say if my n is 6, it means I want to find out the sum of last 6 node, right? So this is again a valid case. Now there can be cases when n is greater than the uh, number of nodes we have. So let's say if, like here we have 6 node, but our n can be let's say 7 or greater than 6. So in this case, basically we would return 0, right? We would say that yes, this is not a valid. So we would say this is not a valid case and we can uh, and we can return minus 1 or 0, right? So uh, basically we'll see that how we can solve that. Our aim is to first of all reach till here, right? So let's say if our n is 2, if we reach somehow here, then we can easily find out that what is the sum of last n nodes. Because then we'll, once we reach here, then we can iterate the remaining nodes in the linked list, right? So we can simply calculate like 23 and plus 6 in this case when n equal to 2, right? Let's say if our n is 3, so our aim our aim would be to reach here and then we'll iterate from here till the end of the linked list and then we keep on adding the sum of the nodes, right? So that is what we'll do. So now what we can do, so the approach is that first of all whatever the n is, first of all start from here, right? So let's say uh, like here in this my case my n is 2, right? So what I will do, I'll basically start from here and I will iterate two times. So one it will be from here to here and then here to here. So after two iteration I will be at this node, right? Now what I will do, I will again start from the starting. So basically I have one node this one and I have one node. So, so, so simultaneously I will keep on iterating both the items one by one. So once I reach till at the end, this node will reach till here right so what will happen let's say this will jump by one position and this will jump by one position now this 13 will jump by this position and this 3 will jump by this position now it will jump by this position and this it will jump by this position and now at here we'll say that my node of next is null right it means that and and this and this is reached till here so now what i will do i will start from the whatever the next of this one because the that node has already reached till the end it means I can start from the next node of this one right and then I will keep on adding the items now basically we'll see that what are the uh, what are the negative test cases we need to handle so there can be case when let's say head equal to null so in this case we can simply return that sum of last node is 0 or minus 1 because this is not valid case now we can have when n is greater than the number of nodes so like in this case what would happen we can again simply return minus one that this is not a valid kit our n is greater than the number of nodes now what can happen that let's say we have the uh, six node and our n is six it means find the sum of last six node so in this case what we'll check that when it will reach till the end and if our head is null and our n is zero then in this case whatever the value is whatever the value is will simply return right but if it is not the case then we'll operate as we explained right so now let me show you that how I am doing this so here um, I have this linked list and here I have my function get sum of last n and node so here I am passing the head node and I am passing the number which I want so basically here I want the sum of last two nodes right so now what will happen check this function so here uh, it is basically getting the node and the n so this is negative test case where I'm checking that if node equals to null or n is less than or equal to 0 then it means return 0 means sum of last n, n nodes is 0 if it is not the case then in slice the sum equals to 0 and then your head is pointing to node now what I'm doing until node is not null and n is greater than 0 I am adding the sum sum equal to sum plus node of data so why it is happening because what will happen that when node equals to null 
so when not equal to null happens then there can be two conditions e if n equals to 0 it means n is greater than the total node so in this case we can simply return minus 1 or we can simply return 0 that sum is 0 right else what would happen if not equals to null it means it means that your uh, that you have reached the condition where your n and your number of nodes are equal so in this case we can simply return sum and that is why I am adding the sum right so what would happen it will keep on iterating and it will keep on adding the sum one by one and here I am decreasing the n uh, whenever uh, whenever I have done one iteration right so let's say if it is a valid case like n, n is 2 and we have 6 node so in this case we will reach till here and then we want to go in this condition because node is not null so now what is happening now my aim is because I have reached till here right so as I explained that I have reached till here now my aim is to reach till end right so that is why that is what I am doing here that until node of next is not null increase the node equal to node of next and increase the head equals to head of next right so simultaneously we are moving this node and our head node right so now what is happening and when we have reached till the end means when node of next is null so in this case uh, my head is at this position at this position right so what I can do now I will say that head equals to head of next then make the sum equals to 0 and then start adding the sum until head is not null right so in this case what would happen that this head is here so head will add this sum and then it will add this sum and after that it is null so we need to go further right so this is how uh, I will add this sum and at the last I will return sum right so now let me show you through debug point as well that whether this is working fine or not so it will go here it will check that yes not is not null and sum is 0 so it will basically keep on adding the sum and now my n is 0 right so now uh, my n is 0 it will check that node is not null so it will keep on iterating the both the node and head so in this case now uh, we have reached till the end so now head equals to head of next and in a slice sum equals to 0 again so now it will keep adding the sum and at the last it would return me sum right so if you see that it is printing 29 which is correct answer right now let's say check some of the negative test cases so let's say here if I pass null right so in this case what would happen it will check that node equals to null so it will return 0 and we will get sum equals to 0 now let's say that our head is valid but our n is greater than nodes so like here our node are 6 but we are get saying last 9 nodes which are not valid case so in this case what will happen that you keep on iterating the element and here your node will be null at the starting at the last so when node is null and our n is greater than 0 it means we'll say n is greater than total nodes right so return 0 and we'll get 0 but let's say if we say and if our node is 6 and our ask is 6 that give me last sum of uh, 6 node last 6 node so in this case this is valid case right so in this case what will happen we'll keep on adding the items and at the last node is null and our sum is and our n is also null so when n is null and node is null it means return the sum so you could say you could see here we have returned to 77 right so we have covered all the negative test cases now you can check any number whatever you want and simply return run so it will give you correct terms right and what is the time complexity so if you see what you are doing here that basically we are iterating the element we are basically iterating the element n times right so first we are iterating till here then again we are iterating till here so overall complexity is big of n so that's it guys about this video and if you have any doubts regarding this please write in the comment section and I will try to explain that and guys if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you